the markets after selling off hard on Friday have come right back up on Monday. But this doesn't change the nature of the market. Notice that we're still in this wedge formation and it's been up, down, up, down. We still have to watch to make sure we're not in that oscillating market. So right now, when you're analyzing the market trend, you also can much more easily analyze the nature of that trend, that it's not straight up, that it's choppy on the way up. That could be going on right now. The only time that we can definitely tell there's a change of investor sentiment is if they break out of the previous formation, such as trading above the wedge formation. That same scenario can be uh, evaluated as far as the NASDAQ, that it came right down and touched the bottom of the, uh, uh, or touched the 50-day moving average, which has been acting as support. So we're still watching to see if they can break out through this level, telling us there's a new phase of this market. And identifying specific sectors or stocks that are still acting well, whether the market is going up or down, or acting weak if you're looking for short positions, can be much more easily identified using candlestick charts. For example, the, cr the crude oil stocks or the drilling stocks are acting well because crude oil, after the big bullish engulfing signal down here, has been in a steady uptrend above the T-line ever since that point. And we're right now at the just at this level of a previous high that if they break out through that uh, point that means we're now at a new high crude oil could go higher which makes assessing or uh, uh, recommending stocks in the oil sector that much easier our recommendation on CPE was based upon the scoop pattern that came right off the 50-day moving average and at this point even with the uh, market oscillating it still has not closed below the t-line keeping us in an uptrend why does that work so effectively? We know that as long as you're above the T-line after a buy signal, you can stay long. You also know the results of a scoop pattern is that it's usually going to have a very strong slingshot effect to the upside. And LPI, another uh, recommendation coming out of the big fry pan bottom doing a J-hook type pattern. Notice what it's not been able to do. Really not been able to close below the T-line. You stay long. Or you can be a buyer if it comes back up through this level, telling you you're in wave three. Using candlestick signals and patterns makes analyzing price movement and trends much easier because there are expectations of what human nature will do time after time. And that's basically done with the graphic depiction uh, from candlestick charts. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.